So in our previous demo, we analyzed the same size spark gear. In this webcast, we're going to analyze different size spark gears. Now let's take a close look of our setup. This is the big gear and this is the small one. And if I give a clockwise rotation of the small gear, the big one gets a counterclockwise rotation. The gears are attached such a way that the both gear has the wire set up on the same size drum but the gear which one the big one has a hundred teeth is connected with the gear here uh, the driver gear has only 20 teeth now we see here that I put both the wire on the same side of the gear so that they um, are balanced so I balance both gear using different weight because their sizes are different so here on the driver gear you see I just had to put uh, 10 gram for the holder and 10 gram weight here so each disc is 10 gram so I have 20 gram on this side and on the other side to to get balanced weight I had to put 70 grams total here so that's why we're gonna use this small one the driver that is we need small effort to raise um, to raise a bigger effort here so that's why we're going to use a small one as a driver and the big one as a follower so this is the summary of our setup the driver has 20 teeth and the follower here has 100 teeth so the ratio of teeth is 1 is to 5 the pitch circle diameter is also for each teeth we have 1 millimeter so the pitch circle diameter for the driver is 20 and for the uh, follower is 100 so the ratio becomes again 1 is to 5 the velocity we can find it by turn so what it means is that for one turn of the big follower the driver will have to rotate five times so if I rotate the driver five times the big um, the big follower will rotate only one turn so the ratio is 5 is to 1 and the direction if for a counterclockwise rotation of the driver, the follower will rotate clockwise. Now we'll do a short test from the balance, balanced position. I'm gonna just add one gram only to my E4 size on the driver. So I put that weight and you see the driver is pulling the load here on the big gear. So my total weight becomes um, 21 gram on the E4 and 70, uh, 80 grams because there is a 7 disc and the holder is 10 so 80 grams on my uh, driver so we're going to use this um, data to find mechanical advantage efficiency and velocity ratio so this is the summary of our result to find the mechanical advantage we have to take the ratio of load L over E4 E so we had total load we raised 80 grams and we didn't convert it into Newton because we're going to take a ratio and our effort was total 21 grams so our mechanical advantage is 3.8 now notice for the same size gear that we did in previous um, webcast our um, mechanical advantage was less than one that means that you need more effort to same amount of load meaning if you want to raise a load of 10 you need to give an effort more than 10 that that what uh, means by if your mechanical advantage is less than one now here you see our mechanical advantage is less greater than one that means you need very less effort to raise your load the velocity ratio we already talked about it is five is to one to find the um, efficiency the mechanical advantage was 3.8 over five uh, from here so our um, efficiency will be 70, 76% so what recommendation we can make from here we see using different size gear we can get higher mechanical advantage and higher or different velocity ratio but at the cost of efficiency so our efficiency has dropped from the same size gear to different size gear next video we're gonna use an idle gear in between um, driver and follower and we'll see how that may affect our study. Till then, thank you.